Ever scratched your head looking at things like f of x in math and wondered what they're all about? Wondering how this f of x function notation can be understood simply through a visual and fun approach? Join me as we explore these questions in today's episode of Mr. Mark's Math Adventures. Hey math learners, it's Mr. Marks, your friendly neighborhood math teacher. Remember, it's not just about getting the right answers, it's about learning and growing along the way. Now before we dive into today's adventure, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for future episodes. Now if you've been following along, you might remember our peek into calculus in episode number three of Mr. Marks Math Adventures. For context around today's topic, you can check that episode out. But no worries, today's topic stands alone. So to all the curious minds out there, especially Mario, thank you for your honesty, Mario. It's feedback like yours that helps us all grow together. So for you, and for all your friends out there who have ever been puzzled by this f of x notation, this one's for you. As we start, always feel free to use the companion worksheet. It's a great tool to help you follow along with the episode and to reinforce your learning. Companion worksheet is free to download. Link down in the description. Now imagine you're in front of a magical machine. You give this machine an input, a number, and as soon as you do, the machine gets to work. Inside, the machine follows a set recipe, a specific set of instructions. For example, let's say this machine takes an input of a number, x. The machine then multiplies that number by 2, and then adds 3 to the number. Now in math terms, this machine's instructions can be written as f of x equals 2x plus 3. So when we feed the number 2 into our machine, it just follows its recipe. The machine takes in the number 2, first multiplies it by 2, and then it adds 3. Our machine gives us the number 7 as our output. This process is what the notation f of x is capturing. It's a systemic way to describe how we're transforming our input into an output with a given set of instructions telling us exactly what our machine is to do step by step. In essence, whenever you see f of x, it's a journey from input to output following a set of mathematical instructions. So now, how do you feel about f of x? Is the fog lifting a bit? It's not just about completely understanding it the first time, but about giving it your best and improving along the way. Hey, props to you for taking some time out of your day to do some math with me. I hope you followed along, and if you didn't, that's all good. Remember that every mistake is a step towards learning something new. And hey, Mr. Mark's Math Adventures is holding a giveaway. Click the link in the description below to see all the giveaway details and for your chance to win. This is Mr. Mark signing off. I'll catch you next time with another math problem. What did you think? Did you approach this problem differently? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this problem, show your support by liking and sharing this video. And don't forget to follow my page to stay up to date on more math related content. Until next time, 